What's up everyone, it's Chill Bill and I'm back with another video. Today I'll be reviewing Travis Scott's Cacti merch. Cacti released a few months ago as a alcoholic beverage. It's actually a spiked seltzer and it's been really popular lately because of Travis Scott. But when they launched the drink, they also launched uh, merch to go with it and I I thought there were some really solid pieces that went along with this merch. I honestly think this was the best merch he's done in a while. I think all the way since Cactus Trails. Make sure you go check out my Cactus Trail video. I have a huge unboxing of that. But unfortunately I wasn't able to get everything that I wanted. Just because, you know, it got a little pricey. So I just bought a few things. Um, I'm still regretting, like, I didn't buy the socks, which I kind of regret. And the red shorts, I really want it. But I did get a hat, um, ping pong balls, slides, and a bottle opener. So in this video, I'm going to show you everything, and I'll give you my honest opinion about them. The first thing we're going to review is the hat. Now, there was a black one, and there was this tan one. The reason I picked the tan one is just because it's something different. You know, we don't really see this color a lot, and this was actually canvas, so... Technically, it should have been a little bit better quality than if it was just a cotton. This canvas is more durable. It's like a little rougher, but definitely on a hat, it's like a little bit higher quality. So the colors are amazing. It's a really nice hat. And you got this symbol right here that's like the agave plant. Then it has like the ingredients right here. Now, the one thing I didn't like about this hat is the way it fits my head. Just by looking at it, it has like a large dome. And I'll show you when I put it on, it just doesn't fit my head right. You know, sometimes hats just don't fit your head right, and that's just how it is. But, but uh, yeah, I just, some people might like this style. This reminds me of a trucker hat, but to me, I just don't like the way it fits my head. So I'm probably going to end up selling it. I have another Travis Scott hat here that's, that I can compare it to. So this was from his Fortnite merch. And you'll look at the difference of just the, the top, just of the dome. This is a lot more smaller. This is how his hats usually fit. So I'll show you how this fits my head. It fits a little smaller, but I kind of like how this fits compared to this. I don't know, I just don't see myself, it's just not my style. I definitely could see some guys pulling it off. I mean, if you rock fitteds a lot, then this is probably more your style. But, you know, just the way my head's shaped, I feel like I like these type of hats a little bit more. So, I probably won't keep this hat, but I do love the colors of it. And I love the canvas material they chose. And if you have the Travis Scott 6s, the ca British khaki that just came out, this would go perfect with it. Next up, we have this keychain. I usually pass on all his keychains. Like, they never really resell good. So, it's not a real good investment. And, they're kind of useless. Like, unless you actually absolutely need a keychain. But, who needs, like, a $20 keychain? But, what attracted me to this is because it's a bottle opener. And, I will say right off the bat, it's, like, really nice quality. This is, like, a really heavy keychain. It's really thick metal like you can't bend this and I think it's really nice I wanted to buy this is like I said because it wasn't just a keychain it was actually a bottle opener so it's actually useful for me it's not going to just collect dust even though I know how to open bottles with a lighter but that's for another day I just think it's cool to have this I think this is a nice piece and then it has the cacti symbol hanging really solid piece it was a $20 keychain, but it is like, this is a thick piece of metal, I'm telling you. It's like really sturdy. So, happy about that. Next thing we got is some, kind of something stupid, but you know, you get the FOMO, the fear of missing out. So you just buy it. The ping pong balls. Now, I was originally going to pass on these. I just, I saw them and I was like, that's dumb. But when I read the description, it said it came with a 10 of them. So I just thought that was a good deal. That you get 10 balls. The fact that it came with 10, I thought that was really cool. So it comes in this cool little packaging. Like, 
almost like if you would have got it in a store. It would be cool if we started seeing this stuff just in stores. Like, that would be awesome. I hope that happens one day. Um, but it says cacti with three stars. And then it has this, like, Islander guy. And that was on some of the clothes, too. But not sure what I'm going to do with these. I don't know if they'll just display them in my room. Maybe I'll take out two of them and play with them. I mean, the only thing you're really going to use this for is beer pong. And that's about it. So I don't really play ping pong. So, But it's a cool little item. It wasn't that expensive. And like I said, you got ten of them. So... I was just like, you know what, just add it to cart. But not bad. Not sure yet what I'm going to do with these, though. I saved the best for last. We have the cacti slides. It comes in this special box, which I'm happy about. That was kind of the one of the selling points for me. I read the description, and it said it came with a custom box. I kind of wish, I was kind of expecting it to be a little more detailed. Like, maybe just all over print up, you know, maybe look like the, um... The actual can of the seltzer it's pretty plain it's just all red and it just says cacti but you know I'm not gonna complain still think it's cool that they added this box it just adds a little more special to it and it's like especially if you're trying to collect it I don't know who would want to collect this but let's take a look at the slides now some people were complaining about the price on these they were a little pricey, but I will say for the price that you paid, it is really good quality. It's like this really thick rubber, but it has a softness to it. Like, it kind of gives. Um, even this leather, it's probably not real leather, but it's still soft. And it's kind of underneath has a foam to it. I'll tell you right away, these are better than your cheap Nike slides that are like stiff as bricks. Definitely better than that. Way better. I would put this up there with... This is probably the same material as Gucci slides, honestly. And Gucci charges three times the price. So, I feel like you, it's not bad. For the summer, you really can't go wrong. Now, there was a catch with these. They didn't actually have sizes. They didn't have shoe sizes. They had small, medium, large, or XL. I had no clue what to get. I actually had to look up online. Like, there's actually a standard for flip-flops. There's a standard for what shoe size range is in like a small medium or large and I'm a size 10 so I went with a large and they seem to be a little tight around the band but and, and they're also a little long so they don't quite fit me exact but I'm sure once I break them in they'll be fine interesting thing is this is a large it actually says 44 right there so that's like a European size but these would definitely be a vibe for the summer. Like I said, I regret not getting the socks. The socks and the shorts, I might have to go back and buy on StockX, maybe when the price drops a little. I can promise you that nobody got their shorts yet because I ordered shorts from Cactus Trails and it took like, like it took the longest time. I think it took like, I don't even want to, I don't even know. It took a really long time. So I can guarantee you that the Cacti shorts definitely didn't, People might have got everything else from this drop, but I guarantee you nobody's getting their shorts probably till summer's over, which sucks. But but that's my video. Let me know what you like from this uh, drop and what's your thoughts on it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.